are my top five dinners that you should be eating to be able to lose your chest fat, your belly fat, and your love handles. Over the last decade, I have undergone multiple bulking phases where my main focus is to build muscle and where I gain a little bit of fat and then cutting down. And these are the foods that I eat consistently for my dinner. Not only have I tried it myself, but I've utilized this with my clients, such as Tori, Avalon's, Gary, Shannon, Nicholas, the list is endless. And what's even amazing about this is my clients still eat these meals till today after they've worked with me, including myself, and it's allowed me to stay in shape year round. So watch this video till the very end because all these meals contain three main categories that I need in a plan to be able to be successful. And if you follow it, you'll be successful too. Those three categories is that it's easy to prepare, they are repeatable, meaning you can do them every day and still love it, and finally, they're enjoyable. When you hit these three categories, they will allow you to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Let's not waste any time. Let's go on into food number one. The first meal I absolutely love because it's very low carb, high protein. And whenever I get to the last couple of weeks, I love adding this. So first ingredient, and this is going to be our serving of veggies, is going to be one kilo of zucchini. You can buy this at your Whole Foods or if you're in South Africa, you can get this at Woolworths, and they usually come in a packet prepared and then you can just put it in the microwave. However, if you don't have that option, you can buy a spiralizer from Amazon, 10 bucks, and you just need zucchini, clean it well, and spiralize, and it's very, very easy to make. It takes five minutes, right? So here we have one kilo of zucchini noodles. Our next one, we're going to make the bolognese. Pro tip, you wanna make your meals as colorful as possible. It's a great indicator for your overall gut health. We will add the 150 grams of lean ground beef. This will be our main protein source. And then, what is bolognese without some prego? Now these macros are amazing for this, right? So per 100 grams, you get 65 calories. That's two protein, 11 carb, and 0.8 grams of fat. For the zucchini noodles, I'll add some palm spray. And you guys, you're free to add any spice. I get this comment quite a lot. Dr. Mike, what about sodium? The one thing sodium will affect, sodium is hydrophilic. Hydro, water, philic is loving. We don't really care about water, especially when we're trying to lose fat. So as long as you're putting in enough sodium that gives you enough flavor, then you can stay consistent with it. It doesn't really matter. So add your Himalayan sea salt, add your peppers, add your cayenne peppers, add your curry spices that are what makes your food flavorful and that will keep you consistent with your diet because that doesn't matter. What we care about is losing fat and fat is through a deficit. So the sodium doesn't matter, bigger picture. You're always gonna have some liquids left over. If it wasn't for the sake of the video, I would have just mixed in the lean ground beef because I like using the water as like a sauce, a soup. So it depends on you, like if you want like a ramen type meal, but if you just want it as bolognese, then you can just plate it this way. And then we have it, pasta bolognese. And there we have it. Our first meal is zucchini bolognese. Why I love this meal is listen to these macros. 36.6 grams of carbs for a kilogram of food, 15 grams of fat, and 56.9 grams of protein. So it's low carbohydrate and it is high protein and very low fat. We have one kilo of zucchini. We have 150 grams of lean ground beef, 95.5. You can make your bolognese whichever way you want. If you want it just with onions, if you want to add the bell peppers in there, and this meal is very, very high volume, which I absolutely love about it. So I love this meal because it gives you a serving of veggies. It's very high protein and very low carb. You would be eating five times more carbohydrates if you had pasta in here. So what a great and amazing dish to have if you're trying to save on those macros when you're trying to get into that single digit. You've seen me eat this plenty of times. I absolutely love it. I have the snacks, my top five snacks video ready. If you want me to upload that video next, and in that video, I'll also have the PDF to the breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the snacks that I promised you guys. I'll have it ready for you guys to download for everyone in there with the playlist of all the videos so you can see how to prepare it. Leave the video the gentle thumbs up and just comment down below 
release the snacks video and I'll release it for you guys. Let's move on into meal number two. The next meal is everybody's favorite food and you might consider it a cheat meal, but you can definitely have this when you're dieting. Here we have 250 grams of lean steak. I've added already some barbecue sauce to it and we're also gonna have fries with it and you can eat this consistently. This is a great meal if you need quick macros and you're on the go. Frozen fries work perfectly fine. And did you know that potatoes are actually fantastic because they are very, very filling. It is one of the highest in terms of veggies, in terms of satiety index. So they'll make you feel full. So the macros in these ones, per 100 grams, 3.3 grams of fat, that is perfect. We'll always wanna make sure that the fats are low in these because they tend to wanna to add oil onto these already. 21 grams of carbs, which is exactly what we want. That is the normal carbohydrates that you get per 100 grams in potatoes. And then finally, protein, 1.7 grams of protein. And that's what I love about the air fryer is that you can put it in there and forget about it. We can now prepare the steak. So I personally like taking out the steak once it's bubbling like that, right? Steak is ready. So that's 15 minutes and they're ready. I'm gonna add the spice. And now we have our steak and fries. This is my advice. When you're dieting, you should make it your job to try and feel like you're not dieting and you're eating meals that you'd regularly eat. Being at single digit, this look here, is a look of consistency. It's not a look of struggle, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And having meals like this in your diet or in your nutrition plan or in your lifestyle plan makes this more so of a lifestyle and it gives you this mental break. In this exact meal, we have a total of 655 calories. The carbs come out to 57.9 grams of carbs, mainly and predominantly from the fries. We have 11.4 grams of fat, and finally, 63.5 grams of protein. It's super simple, super easy to make. We put the food in the air fryer, the fries specifically, and then just the steak with a little bit of barbecue sauce and the spice of your liking into the pan and voila. Eat this and have this every now and then, or have it every week, and have that as a meal that you're looking forward to but steak and fries is something that I've had in my dinners consistently over the last decade. When my clients have this, they're like, are you sure? And I say, yes. They see their weight come down and it just gives them a positive mindset with how they start perceiving food and the way, the process, they go through everything. If you're an individual who's been struggling to lose their belly fat, you've tried it all. You've tried the medications, you've tried the fat diets, you've done keto, You've done multiple different plans. You saw some results that didn't allow you to get where you wanted to be and you went back. You've also worked with a personal trainer and none of that worked. And you finally want to take care of yourself. You've also focused on your career. You're now making your six to seven figures and now you wanna focus in on your health so you can extend your life and enjoy your life and enjoy all your success. I highly recommend you come through my doors and follow the method that I call the DNA sequence. And it's a method that I've utilized that's allowed me and my clients to have a 99% success rate. It's built with science and it's built specifically for you. We jump on a call to get on the details of everything you do. I understand what your hormonal profile is. We even request bloods if necessary. If you wanna work with me and Sculpt by Science, fill out the questionnaire in the description below this video. Fill that out fully and give us the best information you can. We'll jump on a call and we can talk about how the DNA sequence can help you and we can build a sustainable plan for you that will give you longevity. But let's move on into meal number three, but the link is in the description if you wanna work with us. Let's go on. Lunch number three. We're going to be utilizing a shrimp pasta salad. Here we have exactly 100 grams of shrimp and it's been spiced and you can add any spice that you like. Pasta, we're going to use exactly 90 grams and we're gonna make a very healthy pasta salad. We'll take our pasta, we wanna add that into boiling water, there's a liter of water in here and we're gonna add 90 grams. There's nothing wrong with pasta, again, the only downside is we can only have 90 grams, but I'm gonna take this, 
and I'm gonna add it to the air fryer while the pasta is prepared. Now for the salad portion, you can just buy a packet of mixed leaves, right? And we'll create a nice little base with it. We'll add some tomatoes, so I'm just gonna cut the tomatoes up. So, our pasta is finally ready. We'll add now our pasta to the meal. And it's been about five minutes. And the shrimp is ready. And as you can tell, this is really high protein. We'll be adding a Caesar salad and the macros here per 100 mils is 400 calories, two fat, two protein, 37.5 grams of fat and 12.4 grams of our carbs. However, we're going to be using 25 milliliters and in one serving, which is 15, that's 60 calories, 0.3 protein, 5.6 fat and 1.9 carb. And that is our pasta and shrimp salad. The macros on this entire bowl is 517 calories. That comes out to 74 carb, 12.2 grams of fat and 26.6 grams of protein. You mix this in and it's an amazing meal to have. You get all your veggies in here, your source of micronutrients. You can add more veggies if you like, if you need more volume. You're also more than welcome to add more shrimp if you like, maybe tuna if you wanna mix the tuna and shrimp feeling but this is a salad I like this meal because it adds a bit of versatility and also it shows you that salads don't have to be boring and also for my pescatarian people out there I got you let's move on into the next meal number four it's Tuesdays and Tuesdays are for tacos so I'm gonna show you guys a nice easy taco meal that you can make that's high protein we're going to need a pan and we're going to need tacos Time to add our lean ground beef. I highly recommend adding this taco spice by Old El Paso. It tastes amazing, even on beef. We can now add the salsa onto here. Just need to mix it well. And now we're gonna take three shells, our high protein tacos. And we're gonna add some sour cream on there. And we have tacos. So the macros on the tacos come out to be 522 calories for three taco shells. What I like about this meal is that it saves you on the carbs. It's high protein. This one is a bit higher fats, but you can save that if you don't want to add any cheese or any cream cheese on there. But the macros are 13.2 grams of carbs, 27.2 grams of fat, and 53.9 grams of protein. And three beautiful tacos. Nothing really to say about this meal, but another really fun and easy meal that you can have while you're dieting for dinner. The last one is going to be a burger, but I'm gonna show you how to make it low carb. So I'm gonna add taco seasoning. We will mix. And you guys can tell that this is 95.5 lean ground beef. Version came out. First patty. So first, you wanna make it into a meat bowl. So it's nice and compact. And So the patties are ready, and I like doing this personally. And this is low fat cheese. We will be making our lettuce burger. So you just take a iceberg lettuce and you take a leaf. And we're going to add this here as our base, right? And now we can add all the garnishes that we like to the burger. So here I'm gonna add my onions, add some spicing on there. We all like tomatoes, pickles, and voila. See, like essentially this is a wrap. Now it's a burger. And there you go, man. There you have the burger number two. And some ketchup. 
finally, our two burgers, the macros, best by far. 354 calories, 4.8 grams of carbs, 14.5 grams of fat, and 49 grams of protein. That's all you need to hit 50 grams. So if you are on a low carb diet or you're trying to save on the macros, this is a meal I highly recommend. I know like in some Korean meals, they'll just have the lettuce with steak in there. And this is an amazing way to still get the crunch, still feel like you're eating more volume, right? But making the meals you enjoy. So that is our meal number five. I highly recommend this. And all of these meals, these five in total, gives us 250 grams of protein. So each meal on average is giving us 50 grams of protein. They're high protein, moderate carb, and low fat. I'll leave the video there. If you guys want the snack meal, I've already filmed it. Just leave the video with a gentle thumbs up and comment down below, Dr. Mike, release the snacks with the PDF. And in that snack meal, we'll have the PDF with all breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, those meals all together, those 20 meals with the PDF and I'll do that for you guys gladly, but I'll leave the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, okay, cool, peace, bye.